Madam Minister Ladies and Gentlemen, Honourable Minister, Community Development, Social Affairs and Culture, my good friend, the Honourable Minister of Legal Affairs, Honourable Fathers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all you dear people of the Lapwin Passions community. I'm sure it's very, and I see the Honourable Minister of Agriculture coming in. I'm sure it has, it is today a very happy day for all of you. It is a privilege and an honour for me to extend the welcome to Your Royal Highness, to this fair isle and to this rally. We are indeed very happy that you have graced us with your presence. Your visit is a fitting testimony of the significance of the occasion which we are here celebrating. The provision of education for all so that our people can achieve knowledge, understanding and skills to develop a just and virtuous society as a principle of our development is axiomatic. We must continue to strive towards these ideals in the years to come. The character of our country tomorrow depends on the extent to which our young people are equipped to assume the mantle of responsibility. To place emphasis on the youth is to articulate an act of faith in a better tomorrow for our people. It's in this context that the youth rally is highlighted in all our celebrations. It is for this reason that I invite the youth of St. Lucia and you, my dear children, to share in the felicitations, the joy, the love, and the grandeur of our celebrations. It's organized then, focused largely on the many facets of our development and the sectors that contributed to the progress and confidence of our people during those 10 years. We pledge then to continue along our path of development. The significance of 10 years of independence was important for us as a small nation into whose hands the future of our country and the destiny of our people was placed. How we emerged thereafter and our perceptions of the quality of changes and to be remembered as that person who lived in the community, I made uh, a modest contribution at the community level. I had an opportunity to interface at the national level. I did make a small contribution. And I think the time will come when I will move on any of the fanfare associated with people who have been in public life and so on. The simple, I lived in Miku and hopefully I will die in Miku and I want to be with The timely departure was a little regrettable. But lifestyle diseases and public life, you don't go to carry the, the burden of my medical condition mm -hmm. from day one up to now without an iota of assistance mm -hmm. from the government that I was a part of and the subsequent governments that have come in into St. Lucia. I console myself with the fact that when I served in government, at the, at the end of the month, I received the salary. It was not voluntary service. And I believe that um, nobody owes me any favor. This is not a reflection of, how, <clears throat> of any level of disappointment and um, sadness and so on, I just, this is me, and that is how I want.